Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this billiard belt right here. Now, this particular tutorial, let me prepare you. I am fond of making tutorials that have speed because I like videos to be short. But this particular tutorial could not be short because I know that if it runs too fast, you may miss out on some things. So just patiently watch this video and trust me, you will follow every single process and ask me any question if you are confused. I did my best to avoid confusion. For this tutorial, we need pearls or any bit of a choice. This right here is a size 6. We also need fishing line. This is 0 0.50 millimeters. You can go a bit bigger or a bit smaller if you want. Now pay attention. The first thing you need to do is to put six beads into the fishing line. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. The design of this particular belt is supposed to be in circles. Circles of six beads. I'll explain as I keep going. So this right here is six. So I'm going to be picking one side of the fishing line then i'll put it through the last bead that was put in like so so i'll just pick the end of it right here push the last one up a little bit and put it from the top just like this into it and then we'll just pull by the time we pull it what we'll have is a circle like this so this is our first circle of six Next thing I'm going to put in is five beads at this point. Remember I said circle of six? Don't worry, I'll explain. But right now what I'm going to be putting is five beads. So I'm going to be doing that. One, two, three, four, five. And then remember the method we use where we use the opposite side to cross it. So we'll pick this opposite side right here. And then we're going to be shifting the last bead we put in up a little bit. And then we're going to put that thread into it like so and then we pull so we now have another circle so yes i said circle of six but if you look closely and you count each circle you're yes, going to see that it is six so the next thing we're going to do is to put in the bottom side of the bead into the bead beside it so when we brought out the bead one was upward one was downward so the one that was downward we'll put it through the bead beside it like that and then we now have the two threads coming out equally instead of one down and one up. Now, after doing that, we're going to now be putting four beads this time around. So if you see that circle, if you count it now, you see that it is six. Count the side, you see that it is six. So that um, bead in middle was the sixth one for this side and the sixth one for that side. That is how the beads can connect. Because if you're putting six, 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 the arrangement will be very scattered but the idea is that all of them are working together as a team to form the circle and the design as we go further you will understand so next thing we're going to be doing now is we're going to be putting four beads you know so it just gets reducing so at this point from this point on we're going to be putting only four beads we're not going to use six beads anymore we're not going to use five beads anymore we're going to be using four and even at some point three so four after the fourth one, we're going to um, take the opposite side and use it to cross the first one as usual. This right here is a very constant thing to do in this design. I'm trying very hard to make it as simple as possible. I hope I'm not confusing you. So now we have three. So if you look again, we're saying that it is six um, circles, that is a circle of six beads. If you count it around, it's another six. If you count it around, you have around one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you notice, we counted, we counted it that way. Now, we're going again. Remember that we put the bottom bit beside, so always do that. We're going to put in the other thread into the bit that was beside it that way. And this right here is what it looks like. So we have another equal situation going on. So we have those two right there. So we're going to put in another four. So we'll pick the four and then... After putting the four, we'll take the opposite side as well and still cross it the way we've been doing since. So that's four. And then we'll take the opposite side and just put it into the last one. And just cross it. Yeah, so that's what we have. So this is what we have right here. Now, this is the beginning base of this belt. So, now that right here is the bottom of the belt. So, as the belt progresses, that will be the beginning, like the bottom side. So, the belt is going to go through this way. Like, that's how it's going to go. That's the arrangement it's going to go through. But just so that we can remember the beginning of the belt, because this thing is confusing if you're a beginner, I use that marker 
to mark the bottom. It's not a permanent marker, so it was wiping along the way, but always mark. You can use something, maybe fix an office pin at the bottom. Just fix something right there so that you always remember that that is the beginning because at some point, you can get a little bit confused. Now, remember what we said about putting the um, fishing line through the last the bead beside it. So that's what we did. So let me just paint it again so that you'll be able to see it clearly. And that's it. So now, another rule of this bead is that we're going to be moving um, whatever is that we're going to do, we're going to do from this side to the other side. So the thread on this side, this thread on this side is what is going to carry the beads that will now build to the other side. By the time we get to this other side, the bead on this side will also help us build to get to the other side. So you don't put beads in a thread that is in the middle. You put beads on a thread that is at the edge. So now I've put those beads at that edge right there. We're going to be using the other thread on this other side, this other side to cross it. So we'll cross it right there and pull it as usual. So that's it. Remember, you always need to put the lower thread into the... So remember that this mark side is the beginning. Now there are times when you are walking and then this will just turn like this and it will look like it is this place that is the beginning. But because we've marked the other side, it's easy to remember. That way we have a sense of direction. So remember when I said that the other thread on the outside is what we used to, you know, um, build it to the other side. The other thread that is inside is what we used to cross the next bead, like what I'm doing right here. So by the time you bring out one bead, one is outside, one is inside. So the one inside is what you used to put through the next bead beside it, like what I've done right now. That's what we're going to keep doing. While the one outside is one we're going to put the longer bead and cross it to the other side. I hope what I'm saying is making sense. So we're going to continue that way. So I picked this particular thread right here and I'm going to be putting the beads and crossing it to the other side. So I've put the beads in right here and then I'll pick the opposite thread as usual and we're going to be crossing it as well. Now we have crossed it. Now sometimes when you're working, the bees will just start flying. But that's why it's important to always keep this beginning in perspective. Hence the way I marked it, right? So now if you look very close, you see that this particular portion already has what looks like a curl. So for that reason, we're going to be putting this particular um, thread into two instead of one like we used to. So whenever you get to the edges at this point, from this point on, it is now going to be because it already has a semi curve as you can see the circle on this side looks like it's already forming so we put it through two so i put it through one already so this right here is what it looks like if you put it it's going to give an uneven situation so what we're going to do right now is to take the last one and just put it in through that other bead right there so this is what we'll now have at the end of the day as you can see, like I said, the circle is already halfway. So we need another half circle to complete it. So remember the rule of it is one that is at the edge that we're going to build to the other side. And the way to be sure of this positioning is by placing the belt the way it's supposed to be. As you can see, we're seeing the mark side as the arrangement. So we're going to shift the other thread that way. And we're going to be putting the three beads into this particular thread right here. So we're going to put in one, two, three. And then we'll take the other side of the thread and cross as usual. So after we've done that, this right here is what we have by the time we pull. Remember, this right here is still the beginning. This is the point I'll ask. Where do we put the next beads? Your guess is as good as mine on this side. So we're going to be putting the beads on this side and crossing it that other way. But before we do that, this other bead on this side is what we're going to be putting into the next bead beside it. So that is the rule. So we'll put that one on the next beside it, and then we're going to be putting the beads through the outer side into the inner side. So I'll go ahead and get the bead. I've put it. Take the other side that we crossed to the next bead beside it and put it from the top into the last bead and just pull. At this point, we're moving away from using that mark because the marker is only um to help us identify the beginning because when you're just starting you can have four beginnings and you'll be confused on the actual beginning so at this point this right here is what we have and then we'll put it beside it as usual 
take this next one cross it in and drag and then at this point that one beside it we'll put it into the other two like we said that semi cover you it is already there yeah so we'll take three take the other one from the other side and cross it the inner one at this point will be the one to go through the bead beside it while the outer one will collect the four beads put it in and turn the inner one as well will go to the next bead the outer one will collect another four beads cross it and put it this is the part where we need three beads so, so that inner one we're calling inner before by the time it goes to these three beads it becomes outer and then we'll put in three and put it through at this point i hope you understand it so we'll just keep going on and on and on and on until we get the desired length that we want so we'll just cross it over you know put it through the one beside it put another four cross it over put another put it beside it put three on this side cross it over and we're going to keep going on and on and on at this point it actually gets really interesting because you actually see it's getting longer and longer one thing about this thing is if you miss it at some point it will always backfire at some point so you have to go back and go and correct your mistake so there's no room for overlooking any mistake any mistake you make just correct it before moving forward if not it's going to show i ended up making it 44 inches instead of the 41 you saw earlier this right here is the belt hook we're going to be using so make sure that you lie the belt hook the way it will normally be when you wear it that way and then putting the beads through the back of it at this point we're going to be counting one two three and then we're going to be putting that particular um hook into the third hole after doing that we're going to be taking the beads to the front of it make sure everything goes in the bead the thread everything we're going to be putting that in after bringing everything out the next thing we're going to do is to place it evenly on the other side now this is what i mean just arrange it this way in such a way that it's it's almost as though it is directly on top of it now this is what i mean this middle point right there will also align with that middle point right there so i haven't done that we're going to be taking the thread and putting it through the beads just so that they can stay together and not move so after doing that i'm going to be putting it that way until it intertwines and stays together i'll do that for the middle as well and the edge this way i put a needle in the thread to make it very easy in fact i should have done that from the beginning but yeah so we're just going to be putting it in through put it through the next that way you know cross it over to the other side and i'm going to be doing that all the way around the middle plus the other side as well and by the time we finish it this right here is what it looks like so i'm just going to be putting it through that last portion right there and after that we're going to tie make sure you tie it and tie it very tightly you don't decision whereby you've worked so hard and it just unravels so please tie tie and tie over tie if possible <laughs> so we're done tying we just cut it off and voila this right here is what we have this right here is what it looks like you can go ahead and style it however you feel like styling it i made seven of this by the way this is all seven of them and this right here is a way to style it so i just put it on a dress that i was wearing and then i just put it into that particular you know how to wear a belt right i didn't just know the stories <laughs> but yeah this is how you can do it i did over a black dress you can do it any color you want and however it is that you want it thank you so much for watching my video i'll see you in my next one bye